Hey guys, this is queen of allergies over here. Huh. So I just thought I'd show you a quick setup of what we're working with because we kind of changed some things around. So if you've been following me for a little bit, you remember we usually had a cot set up right there and that seat was folded down and Megan's seat was up. But I thought because the girls and I are still so short, one of us could fit across that bench seat and then the other two could sleep on their sleeping pads on the floor um and that worked out really well on our last overnighter to roosevelt's so um, we're gonna stick with it and that way it's less hassle for us to set up when we get to camp and there's more room over there for the dogs and a place for us to sit and things like that so um got my little coffee bar still all the necessities that we need and easy, like easy to reach, all right here in the seat back organizers. What you think? You ready to go bye bye? Yeah, you go bye bye. Under there in our stow and go area, we've got both dinner and breakfast food boxes. Coming around to the back, putting our foldable table to use for our water container that is five gallons, well, six actually, six gallons of water with its fancy little spigot. We always bring extra water just in case. We need to grab an extra bag of ice for the cooler. And then coming around here, We do have our, it's kind of a mess down there, you guys, but we have our fuel for our stove down there, our sink so we can wash stuff out, bread, as you can see, the food boxes are up under there. So that's what we're doing with our stow and go stuff, even though it's kind of messy right now. Easy peasy. I also got a couple like organizer, collapsible organizers. And the one over there, it has like towels and stuff in it. This one has like toilet paper, um, the electric air pump, so we can pump up our sleeping pads and things like that. And a couple other little tools in there as well. And in case anyone was wondering, we have some of our stuff secured with bungee cords, um, as you can see, secured to the back of the headrest right there. And then the table is secured to the seat, so the baby's not going anywhere. All right, so I know a lot of you guys have asked me, like, where do you keep your bags, like with your clothes and toiletries and things like that? Um, where do you keep those when you're traveling and when you're sleeping at night? So we do like to travel light. Um, we don't carry a lot of excess things, you know, maybe like one extra pair of clothes um, per person. And um, and then we make sure to bring, you know, what we need for that, that season as well as like a rain jacket or something like that. So there's not a lot. We army roll our stuff so they all fit into a couple of small bags and then they sit in the front seat while we're sleeping at night. And then while we are traveling, they can just come back here in the back seat. So, um, you know, they don't need a lot of space. And um, we were putting them down underneath in the stow and go area as well. But, you know, we kind of rotate our gear out and sometimes we'll put our food down there and, and whatnot. So that about sums it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed our new setup, and uh, we will catch you when we get back from Utah. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, though, The Little Caravan That Could, because we will be sharing stories on there. So, and if you liked this content, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and or leave a comment. We greatly appreciate it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.